Welcome back to CES 2019. We are coming from the creative booth here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And the first of the technology on display here at Creators Lab is their X-Fi headphone technology. This essentially goes all the way from mono up to 7.1 and it, it's a new form of digital signal processing and it will really bring your headphones to life. Like I tried the demo they had going on here, which had two forms of customizing a profile for you. First of all, you can snap a picture of your ears and then snap a picture of your face. And then through the Android app, it'll then profile uh, the sound for you. But they've also got another level above that, which will then do a full sweep from all different angles and then customize another profile, which I managed to luckily get two profiles and I tried them both out and they were phenomenal. It really did sound like you're in a room with natural surround sound. It was that good. So for those who love the old school CMSS technology, this will definitely be a level above that sounding extremely good and just bringing everything to life, even mono sounds on uh, some music or interviews. It just really brought the music to life. I was blown away by what this could do. Now, in terms of using this with different headphones, headsets, it uh, supports pretty much anything. You're not locked into Creative's own lineup of headsets, whether it be the H6 or other headphones they had on display. You can plug in whatever brand you want. You can also use it with different consoles, Nintendo Switch, uh, PS4 and Xbox One X, for example, as well as the main point being that it's focused for PC users. So for instance, if you're playing World of Warcraft and you just want to bring things to life, this little amp will definitely do that. Though what else is on display here at this booth? Let's go through and take a look. to Tech Yes City and right beside me here is a new sound card that is going to be released in March this year and it's the A9. If you guys remember back in the past I did a review on the A5 and I thought it was really good. This is a step above that though. You got replaceable OP amps, you've got a signal to noise ratio of 129 decibels out. Input as well has 130 decibel signal to noise ratio. So it's very impressive. This also has an external unit that does more than just be an external unit that you're used to. It's got an XLR input with 48 volt power as well. So it'll support XLR mics, uh, condenser microphones. So it's really designed to not just be the next level for people who want awesome sound coming out of their computer, but also for people who are streaming and need to get a good input as well. In terms of input and output, you got RCA as well as manual input, output and optical in and optical out, as well as a mini HDMI ACM link to your external unit. Uh, inside the case, they finally fixed the power connector instead of using an old uh, dirty Molex connector, they're now using a PCIe connector, which if you're using a Gravis card with uh, two PCIe eight pins, or well, one is a six pin, you can then splice that off to the sound card like they've done in the example here, which does look pretty sleek. So this is gonna come in at around $299, and of course you can customize it the way you want, and it's got the ESS Sabre 9038 DAC built in. So it's definitely gonna please people with 32 bits, 384 kilohertz support. Next up here, if you are got under $100 and you want a good soundbar, they've got the Stage 2.1, which has just been released. This has HDMI support as well from the TV. If it's got a HDMI out, you can plug in. It does go pretty loud. The sub sounds pretty good. It's coming in at $79, and it's just a real solid solution for the money. It also has plug and play for USB MP3 uh, sound, so you can just plug that in and get some MP3 tracks banging on your soundstage bar. Though if you're even on more of a budget and you want to save some money but you want something that's portable, then they've got the Stage Air, which is coming in at 39 bucks. It's a just a 2.0 solution. It's portable. It has up to six hours battery life. It doesn't have the HDMI support, however, but it is smaller, lighter, and it is pretty impressive for 39 bucks. And the last option we've got here for people who love speakers is the Pebble Plus. And this is gonna be released roughly in June. It's a 2.1 solution. It's gonna improve on the original Pebble, which has had a price drop from $29 to $19. Uh, this is gonna be released at $29 over that. 
and it just sounds really good as well as looking stylish for a modern desktop. I guess that's the theme going on here. So if you're on a budget and you want something that sounds good with 2.1, a little bit of bass, as well as having speakers that are closer to your ears with the design, then these will definitely deliver that. It's also USB powered as well, so you won't get any clutter. You can uh, take it with you on the road if you need a portable 2.1 solution. And it's got an auxiliary in for those who just like the old school method of just plugging audio in and getting some beats cracking. So that about wraps it up here for the creative booth at CES 2019. The amp, as I said before, it was phenomenal, it blew me away. And they're actually in development for making this wireless at the moment with a deck that'll support up to four headsets uh, in a wireless sort of configuration that's a pre-configured set. In terms of release dates and pricing and specs, they haven't really announced that. It's all in concept, uh, but the amp is available right now, 150 bucks. That's definitely my favorite take out of today, as well as that stage soundbar, which sound impressive to my ears. The AE9, that's a sound card. If you guys are interested in that and you're going into streaming uh, with a phantom powered microphone, then that's definitely something to consider if you just want the absolute best quality. Hopefully I can take a look at that for you guys in March when it's released and give you guys more in-depth specifications with obviously frequency response and all the other jazz that you come to expect from a Tech Air City review. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button. Let us know in the comment section below what was your favorite part of today's booth. Love reading your thoughts and opinions as always, and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.